Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be constructing a new metal foundry because my old one, the Mark I, uh, is no longer functional, unfortunately. Because after its long run, it's the inner bucket has finally started to break apart and now has several holes in it, letting the insulating sand fall into it and dousing a fire. So that's no good. So decided to make a new one out of fire brick and fire brick is a very good insulator it won't crack like up to 3600 uh, degrees Fahrenheit so that is uh, that's pretty hot that's way more than we need to melt aluminum which is the only metal I'm going to be melting with this and uh, yeah so I have 17 fire bricks in total here they're quite expensive actually this cost me about 60 US dollars and uh, that's a lot, but hopefully it'll be worth it. So um, I came up with the design yesterday and now I'm gonna show you how to make it. All right, so first we need to make a base for the foundry. So for that, we're just gonna take two bricks and put them right in the middle next to each other. All right, that step. All right, now we're gonna start uh, building the wall. So this is the base right here, and then we're gonna make a wall around this, and then a lid also. So for the first wall, this is the wall that's gonna have a hole in it for the air pipe. I'm gonna put one standing up like that, and then another one low down like that. And then on the rest of the sides, we're just gonna put them standing up like this. Actually, this one's going to be scooted over a little bit like that. Yeah, like that. And then, yeah, just standing up around the rest of it. Like so. Yeah. Oh, these things aren't very light, unfortunately. Oh. <sighs> All right, last one. <sighs> Die. There we go. All right, step two. All right, step three. So next, we're gonna build a roof for the hole. So we're gonna put one standing up like that, right there. And then another one sideways right here. So there you can see there's now a nice hole for the air pipe to go through. And then the rest of them, I'm just gonna put one right there. And here that and then one here and then that one is too big to go on its side so we're gonna put it like this and that is not just there because it's the wrong size it actually has a point so I'm gonna take a metal trash can lid like this one from my old foundry so you can have a lid to put over the foundry to keep the heat in. So what the feature of that is, is you can have a, this is like full heat on the foundry, so it's just like blasting the metal. But if you don't want it so hot, if you're like cooling down or something, then you can just put it up on there and then it'll let some heat escape. Or you can just take the whole thing off and let like the whole thing out the top but yeah I think this turned out very nicely and uh, I'm going to be testing it out in a couple of days yeah, let me just show you this is my old air pipe it's really beaten up because one time actually uh, a funny story the uh, crucible wasn't fully made of steel so it just the crucible just melted and all the molten metal just came out the bottom and through this pipe 
that's why it's not looking too good. But it's worked for all this time. But basically, <laughs> this will go into there, like this, and you'll have it propped up so that it can uh, blow air in with a hair dryer on the end and then get the fire really going in there. Yeah. All right, now we're using it for the first time. It's working well so far. Take off the lid. Yeah, there's a fire going in there. In a few minutes, we're gonna put the crucible on top. Start melting some pop tabs. To put a pop can in. Pop can in the cauldron. It'll take uh, 15 minutes, maybe less, for it to uh, melt and it will form the uh, substance in the bottom of the cauldron. <laughs> then we will pour it into a molding container. Yes, right. you hold this. I'll just aim it at the, the cauldron. Okay, we're working on it now. Very precise. All right, now it is to the point where you can just throw them in and they'll pretty much melt on the spot. So we're gonna just start shoveling them in now. The process is now proceeding. Yep. Decent amount of liquid at the bottom. Can you see the bottom through the video cameras? Very hot, even yeah. with this silicon glove is steaming. Silicon glove is steaming. Ah. Very hot. All right. Okay, the process is in progress. All right. Oh. All right. Now it is consistently melting cans very quickly. So I'm gonna just show you throwing some more in there. We're going to continue to throw cans, place cans into the hearth for the melting process. Remember, it's a scientific process. This is no, uh, this is no play thing. This is a real thing. There we see the uh, molten uh, aluminum. Scientifically, this is very accurate, very consistent with the rules of nature. So, he's placed four cans into the cauldron. They are being uh, consumed even as we speak in this process. Yes. Now the glove is starting to overheat. Glove is overheating again. <laughs> it does that like as we are. All right, we are pouring the metal now. The process of pouring the metal is taking place. Uh, Bob, this is just back there. This is a critical time in the process of the final uh, stage. Removing the uh, molten material from the cauldron. All right. It's taking place now. It's taking off the last bits of dross. All right. Here you go. Three, two, one. Boy, got a lot. All right, that's all of it. All right, we've turned the hair dryer off. Now the fire is just dying out. 
And yes, I'd say this foundry is way more successful than uh, version one over here because uh, fire bricks are much better insulator than sand. The only problem I had was uh, one time during the process, uh, these two bricks fell off and uh, thankfully none of the contents of the furnace fell out along with them. Um, and I just had to use the tongs to, re to put them back up there. But yes, other than that, it was very good. It went way faster than the Mark One. Now we're gonna kick off this. No, no, no. Not yet. Touch it. And uh, we got several um, ingots, six of them. And then a little more over there. And there's so much dross in those soda cans too. Like that's all paint and stuff over there. It's uh, pure aluminum after the process of uh, separating the. Uh, various ingredients and uh, the process we would say would be complete. Yep. All right, and then these are the little thingies we're gonna be melting down to make the rope cleat and the grappling hook for the Spider-Man project. Yeah. All right, here's the result of after about three hours of work outside on the foundry. And as you can see, it was well worth it. We got six uh, solid aluminum ingots. These things are really cool. Uh, they're solid aluminum. There's no paint or dross in them um, because we scooped out all the dross. And, but yeah, that was really fun. So what we're gonna do is in the future, we'll take these and uh, we can uh, melt them down and then we're gonna pour them into a plaster mold, which uh, will have the, either the rope cleat and, or the grappling hook in it. And uh, then we can make them out of metal and then uh, we're almost done. Also the new uh, rope for the grappling hook also worked. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. And uh, yeah, bye.